agenda in G20, but it is considered as an event which is as part of this engagement of G20. So we have a, the title is called Space Economy Leaders Meeting. So we this is a fourth meeting, and we are hoping that someday G20 nations will decide that it becomes a formal agenda, and we are working for it. Today we had an exceptionally successful meeting where uh, 27 nations representatives were there and we are very happy that we have the G20 people, 18 of them and the nine uh, from invited guest countries and especially 33 industries from uh, G20 nations and around 54 of Indian companies are also part of it. We wanted to showcase in this meeting the industry capability in space sector and connect between industries of G20 nations and Indian industry. This is one of our most important goal out of this session. Of course, we discussed the space activities and how to look at the various elements of space. And we have the theme for this session is uh, the emerging space era, the economy, responsibility and alliance. And this we have expanded theme accordingly for each of these three domains. And all the space agencies who have participated here reinforce the, our primary agenda for this uh, SELM in the line of era, ec economy, responsibility alliance. And we are very happy that finally that there has been a conclusion out of the session which we has already been posted in our website on uh, the outcome of the SELM. And we will be reporting the outcome of SELM to the G20 uh, meeting which will happen finally at Delhi for final conclusion and in recommendations. Thank you so much. Sir, good evening. Uh, I am, can you hear me? Uh, I am Bala Chauhan from the New Indian Express. I would like to ask you where does India stand towards in this era, towards the space, new space era? Where do we stand as of today? See, the new space era today, we are talking three elements. One is economy, responsibility, and alliance. In terms of the economy, you are aware that our space sector has now opened up from a government-funded space activity to a private, early, privately engaged space activity to move towards that and scale up our economy of activity. This has been a very important element of the space sector reforms and the new space policy. So we are already in that first item. Responsibility comes out of handling the space in a very sustainable manner, like uh, handling the large amount of debris that created and how to make the space sustainable uh, and also to follow the rule of law in space, which is uh, mostly there is no law. We are only understanding between nations and how to be partners in that. We have been working in various national bodies, global bodies like UN Corpus and others. We also ensure that we don't clutter the space by debris, we deorbit all the satellites, we make sure our rocket parts come down and we continue work with all the nations in terms of the uh, close proximity analysis, etc. And in Alliance, I want to tell you that we have almost 63 MOUs with uh, other agencies and nations and we work very closely with all the uh, big space players as well as emerging space players in various sectors like applications, technology, uh, then business development, national space to agency to agency and country to country engagement. So we are in all of them. Thank you. Hi, sir. My name is Suraksha. I'm from Economic Times. Can you tell us more about these outcomes that was posted on the website of uh, SELM? And uh, my second question is, can you tell us something about the launch of Chandrayaan 3? Of course, uh, both are unconnected topics. But still, <laughs> I will tell you about the, uh, the first part of the question, is which is related to the, the concluding part of the session, which has uh, which already been put in the website. I, as I mentioned about, uh, we elaborated as a chair summary, as a summary of the finding of this. Because there has been certain strong suggestions. One is that SELM should uh, be upgraded to a level of a formal agenda in G20, which of course we'll have to report and on the economy side that we have given a recommendation that this particular topic of discussion of economy and participation in industries should continue to remain part of the future SELM, which is going to happen in Brazil, the fifth edition of it. So you will understand that conducting this such sessions is a big boon to industries and the corresponding industries will get benefited. So we would like to see the industry to industry connect, agency to industry connect, 
because I have been part of many discussions here to see potential business opportunities are created out of such forum. So this is the first part of it. The responsibility part is already mm -hmm. highlighted and we said that we have to move towards a sustainable space. You, you, every lot of concerns have been raised by the members on the increasing number of satellites. You have seen in the last few years, thousands of satellites are being launched and the rate of increase of the satellites predicted in the future is actually alarming. And we have to make sure that that doesn't really clutter the space and it has to be regulated in terms of bringing them back at, after the life is over and how we are regulating this. Some more clear understanding has to come. This is one of the important uh, suggestions that has come. Third is about the alliances. We looked at the long-term sustainability, which is anyway in a big agenda in corpus, and this is being discussed about uh, uh, in many times. But the bigger part of it is in alliance, uh, what we suggested in this, not part of the other fora, is how to bring up new countries in space. We found that if only four or five nations are working on space, then it really doesn't expand in economy. You, you know, if your mobile phones are only in only few countries, the companies who are producing it will not be able to market it. It has to spread across all the nations. Everybody should get benefit out of it. Everybody should have a pie of it. So it means we must create capability in every space nation, every nation of who are there and part of this uh, uh, space activity should have something to do with the space. So we suggested that in India, for example, we are helping our neighboring countries to build satellites somebody to build some application, somebody to build some rockets. So we are forthcoming and telling that, yes, help somebody so that they bring, become better in space. It actually opens new markets. It becomes the whole of the space activity more sustainable, cost effective, affordable for people. So this is what we are trying to do by alliances. Allow alliances to be formed. Do not uh, no, control it, regulate it too much. Thank you. Sir, sir. Hello, Sagai Raj here from India today, sir. Sir, uh, ISRO have an uh, agreement with NASA to launch uh, machines in the year 2024 to the International Space Center. Is there any kind of discussion or any kind of mission which was been signed in this Salem meeting, sir? No, we have not yet signed any agreement or MOU on this. This has been a decision at the highest level on. Uh, uh, on having uh, an Indian to fly to international space stations undergoing training in U.S. facilities. So this much is decided at this moment at the highest level and we have been asked to work out the details of it in the coming days and the uh, agreement between NASA and ISRO will be signed on this account. What I hope is that we will define how many people are going to be trained, how many people are actually going to fly to ISS, what type of uh, uh, technical and scientific engagement will happen as part of this will be defined in the process of this. We are working out. We are in, in, in connection, in connected to NASA on and different layers we are discussing it. Thank you. Mishra. Sir, Namaskar. Rajiv Mishra, Rajasthan Patrika. Yeah. Sir, two questions. One is from ACLM and one is Chandrayaan 3, which is more important. Okay. Sir, uh, सेलम के दौरान जो नए देश हैं, जो न्यू कंट्रीज हैं स्पेस टेक्नोलॉजी के एरिया में, क्या एक्सपेक्टेशंस हैं उनका हमारे देश से? इंडिया से क्या एक्सपेक्टेशंस हैं? और बायलेटरली हमारा किसी देश के साथ इस मंच पे बात हुई है। और दूसरा सर चंद्रयान थ्री से है, 14 को हम लॉन्च हो रहे हैं, कैलकुलेशन हुआ होगा कि हमारा लूनर ऑर्बिट इंसर्शन किस दिन को होगा और उसके बाद लैंडिंग किस दिन होगा सो पहली बात है कि हमारे स्पेस एस्पायरिंग नेशन है हमारे नाइबर्स है छोटा नेशन है उसमें जो स्पेस एक्टिविटी अभी तक नहीं डेवलप हुआ है उन सब से हमारे बातचीत करते रहते हैं जो टेक्नोलॉजी की आवश्यकता है उन्हें टू टू बिल्ड सैटेलाइट्स और लॉन्च व्हीकल और एप्लीकेशन तो हमसे ये ये ऑफर उनके सामने है क्या आप चाहते हैं तो हमको ये टेक्नोलॉजी देने की पूरी सहमति है यही है फर्स्ट पॉइंट सो एंड इट इज ऑफ कोर्स ऑन ए कमर्शियल बेसिस इट इज नॉट फ्री ऑफ कोर्स नथिंग विल बी फ्री इन स्पेस हमारे ये ऑफर है कि हमारे इन इंडिया में कई इंडस्ट्रीज अभी ये स्पेस में काम करते रहते हैं उन सबसे और उन 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 नेशन नेशन में और राज्यों में जो इंडस्ट्री है स्पेस का में काम करने वाले उन सबको जुड़ाए तो उनको रॉकेट को बनाने के लिए हमारे ये अग्नि कुल है ना या उन ये देवे के थ्री प्रिंटेड इंजन डेवलप करते हैं क्या ये इंजन अगले एक नेशन में यूज कर पाएंगे तो उसमें कमर्शियल एंगेजमेंट क्या पॉसिबिलिटी भी है 
सो ऐसी डिस्कशन हो रहा है और और कोई कुछ अनेक राज्यों से हमारे ये बातचीत करते हैं हमारे इस एप्लीकेशन से जो सैटेलाइट डेटा है कम्युनिकेशन एप्लीकेशन से उसमें कंपनी से हम काम करते हैं उस कंपनी से क्या वहां कर, कर सकेंगे लाइक डाउनलोडिंग एप्लीकेशन डाउनलोडिंग द डेटा दे प्रोवाइडिंग कम्युनिकेशन सर्विसेज दे इमेजिंग सर्विसेज देर और फॉर एग्जाम्पल क्लाइमेट एंड वेदर सर्विसेज सो सच डिस्कशन आर गोइंग ऑन one of the small country asked us whether you can you help us to develop a new rocket for our nation just now i am coming from such a discussion so we said offered that yes we are ready to help you to build a rocket for you and we are we can transfer the technology for that earlier there was nobody will say no rocket is such a dangerous thing we will not give you so the things have changed now we are helping people to up, upskill their capability so this is first part on the second part what you are going to tell us that about the launch of chandrayaan 3 14th at 2:35 pm is the launch lift off time and if the launch takes place on that day then we will be ready for landing on moon possibly by the th- last week of august so that the date is decided by when is the sunrise on moon so where it is landing sunlight has to be there unlike mo- you know 24 hours a day for earth the day on moon is 15 days so 15 days you will have sunlight and next 15 days there is no sunlight for one location so we will have to land on the first day of the 15th day 15th day slot of the day then we will have life for at least 15 days so this is the date on which we have to land if everything goes well then it becomes 23rd of august okay it can be 24th of august also depending upon the calculations which will happen but it cannot be 25 26 because if it gets delayed then what we will do is we will not land we will keep it for next one month one month later only next again day will come so it will go to september 20 20th or 20 uh, 30 days later okay 29 days later it will have to be scheduled okay good evening sir, sir. raghavendra from ani sir yes sir सर यासिर न्यूज नेशन से दो सवाल है पहला एस को लेकर ही है स्पेस डेब्रिज जो है एक बड़ा चैलेंज बना हुआ है क्या कोई रोड मैप तैयार किया गया है किस तरह से इसे हैंडल करें और फिर दूसरा सवाल चंद्रयान को लेकर ही है और एक रिक्वेस्ट है कि हिंदी में आंसर चाहिए उसके लिए <laughs> कि किस तरह से ये अलग होगा चंद्रयान टू से क्योंकि ऑर्बिटर नहीं होगा इसमें किस तरह से इसको स्थापित किया जाएगा किस तरह से अलग होगा पहला की स्पेस डेब्रिज के लिए क्या कोई रोड मैप तैयार है space debris road map making is not possible in g20 nations because it is not only done by g20 countries by so many other people but of course the powerful nations are part of the g20 so we 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 discuss in various fora g20 is not the only fora for debris so guidelines will come only in united nations fora like the un corpus etc which is addressing this so we did not discuss specifically what exactly you have to do for debris removal so there are no rules here there are only understanding okay so uh, everybody is working to create some uh, global rules that can be followed the, so still nothing is very clear so that is a status there now uh, may ap uh, chandrayaan ke bare mein bolunga ki ha huh? sir uh, chandrayaan kis tarah se chandrayaan 2 se kis tarah se alag hai ah, chandrayaan 3 kya स्पेसिफिकेशन है मकसद क्या है सो so, आपको पता है चंद्रयान दो लैंडिंग करने के सफल नहीं हुआ है तो हमने जो किया है कि आप उसके उसके बाहर उससे सभी डाटा हमसे मिले टेलीमीटर डाटा ये बोलते हैं हम टेलीमीटर डाटा का एनालिसिस किया हम सिमुलेशन किया और हमको पता चला कि क्या क्या प्रॉब्लम्स होते हैं उस, था उस चंद्रयान टू पर हमको ऐसे कार एक्सीडेंट होते हैं तो हमको वहां जाकर उस डेबरी को कलर करके एनालाइज कर सकता है ये चंद्रयान दो ना दो चंद्रमा पर गिरा है ना हमारे हमको कुछ डेबरी तो नहीं मिला है तो सिर्फ हमारे साथ एक जो डाटा वहां से क्या स्ट्रीम किया है सो डाटा का हम सिमुलेशन किया हमको पता है देरा दो तीन चार बात हुआ है इसके कारण यह लैंडिंग परफेक्ट नहीं हुआ सो पहला काम किया गया तो यो ये सब प्रॉब्लम्स को हमको दूर करना है तो हमने एक रिव्यू किया किस किस, किस जगह ये स्ट्रेंथनिंग चाहिए तो वहां किया है पहला ये कि हमारे लैंडिंग लग है हमारा लैंडिंग लग चंद्रयान टू को जस्ट टू मीटर पर सेकंड स्पीड तक वहां डिजाइन फॉर टू मीटर पर सेकंड 
if it exceeds maybe some little more it will stay so hum humne jo kiya hai hamara adhik to adhik 50% extra capacity banaya this time we strong uh, our energy absorbing capability to double kiya hai aur dusra hai chandra chandrayaan 3 pa hamara propellant quantity to adhik kiya hai hamara tank ka capacity increase kiya aur to hamare landing ke bare mein koi dikkat hote to तो हमारे प्राइमरी लैंडिंग नहीं होते तो और दूसरा लैंडिंग अल्टरनेट साइड में जाने की क्षमता होगी सो so, अधिक प्रोपेलेंट है दो तीन तीसरा है ये हमारा सोलर सेल है जो पावर बना जनरेट करते हैं सिर्फ और सनलाइट से बारे किस तरफ ये ये होते हैं ना तो जो अब ये देखे तो चंद्रमा पे खड़े और सूरज सूरज की तरह देखे तो सूरज उसी तरफ होगा हमारे थर्तीस थे जैसे नहीं है तो हमारे ऊपर सिर से सिर के ऊपर ये नहीं नहीं जाते जो जाते हैं सिर्फ और सीमा पर ये दिखा जाते दिखाई जाते हैं सो हमारे सोलर पैनल सिर्फ एक ही डायरेक्शन को लैंडिंग होना है सपोज लैंडिंग ऐसा नहीं होता तो उल्टा होता तो पावर जनरेशन नहीं होता सो ये फेलर मोड है सो हमने जो किया है हमारे चंद्रयान में के चारों फेसेस है ना सो so, हम हमने ये सोलर पैनल अगला एक एक तो फेस में भी लगा दिस टाइम सो इवन इफ इट लैंड्स इन अ रॉन्ग डायरेक्शन स्टिल इट विल हैव पावर जनरेशन कैपेबिलिटी देन चौदह है तो हमारे सेंसर्स है इसमें एक इनर्शियल सेंसर्स है कैमरा से रडार अल्टीमीटर है लेसर अल्टीमीटर है ये सभी इंस्ट्रूमेंट हमने तो बनाया है और इसरो सेंटर्स में जुड़ा है चंद्रयान दो लैंडर में हमने एक, एक अनोखी एक और एक इंस्ट्रूमेंट भी बनाया है दिस टाइम कॉल्ड लेसर डॉपलर वेलोसिटी मीटर इसमें दो तीन आइस है उससे लेसर बीम निकलते हैं और लेसर बीम के सहारे से हम रिफ्लेक्ट चंद्रमा के ऊपर सरफेस पे रिफ्लेक्ट करके वापस आते हैं इसे हम मेशर करते हैं कितना स्पीड जा रहा है तो हमारे तीनों स्पीड फॉरवर्ड स्पीड लेफ्ट स्पीड अप एंड डाउन स्पीड थ्री स्पीड हमको मेशर करूंगा ये तब हम चंद्रमा के ऊपर कुछ तो कुछ नीचे आने के समय ये इंस्ट्रूमेंट की उपयोग होगी सो so, इसलिए हमको ये मेशर कर सकूंगा कि कितना स्पीड है ये हमारे कंट्रोल फीडबैक में जाएंगे और हमारे सॉफ्टवेयर सॉफ्टवेयर को भी हमने स्ट्रेंथन किया है हमने कई टेस्ट करें हमारे कोल्ड सिमुलेशन टेस्ट है हमने हेलीकॉप्टर में ये चंद्रमा लैंडर को लेकर हमने एक ट्रेन पर ऊपर फ्लाई किया हमने ट्रेन में हैंगिंग करके लैंडिंग डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन किया और हमने कई टेस्ट बटे बनाई हमारे स्पेस सैटेलाइट सेंटर में ये सब टेस्ट करके और सॉफ्टवेयर को स्ट्रेस टेस्ट करके फेलर सिमुलेशन किया सो so, जो कुछ हमको सोच सका सब किया अगले दो दो साल में इसके बाद सो विद दैट कॉन्फिडेंस हम ये लॉन्च चंद्रयान थ्री लॉन्च लॉन्चिंग का इनिशिएशन uh, किया तो विद दैट वी आर गोइंग सो होपिंग एवरीथिंग विल बी ऑल राइट दिस टाइम विजय फ्रॉम डी सर um yes yes at this side okay so what are the challenges in space economy challenges in space economy first and foremost is it is capital intensive so you have to invest heavily to create the capability and return of investment comes very late see for example you build a some uh, food industry it comes next month after the product is launched maybe in few months here it comes after a few years sometimes 5 years 10 years this is the first problem so you have locked up capital for long time third the failure possibilities are very high so sometimes you will become bankrupt you will not even make any profit you know spacex was almost near bankruptcy just the moment they succeeded so these are the three things and finally markets if you do not have markets there is no business so where is a market suppose you make a rocket and keep it with you is nobody coming to you for launch where is the market so how do you create the market for the rocket this is again another challenge it comes out of confidence of the user why private companies are coming to india and launching because there is a guarantee that it will succeed and if your satellite is going to fail nobody will come if you are making a rocket which will fail more times than succeed nobody will come so there are lot of geopolitical array angles also even if some there are some nations there are plenty of rockets nobody is going there for launch because there are geopolitical situations don't allow so space is a very complex thing having all these problems this is the issue of economy yeah as far as how to make it succeed in space <laughs>